Hey lovely people, welcome back once again to another exciting episode of Stitches Biz Collection. I'm Miss Stitches. In this video, let me share with you how to make a nice designed shape beaded bag. Before we start, do well to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button. Let's get started. Materials needed. So before we start, I would like to advise you to always do the cover of this particular design before doing the handle so you won't feel or you have any difficulties fixing the cover of the bag. So you cut your fish line, you make sure, please make sure it's long enough, then you cut it off and we are using 0.70 mm. You make sure you have the ends of the fish line then you pick four beads fix on any side of the fish line when it's the right side or the left side you fix all four beads and then you cross with the fourth bead using the other side of the fish line and then you pull it out make sure you have the ends of the fish line so one side will be longer than the other they have a first ring done you still go on and pick three beads fix one bead on each fish line, fix one on the left fish line, fix one on the right fish line but then you cross with the third bead using both fish lines you still make sure you have the ends of the fish line and then you pull it out and then you have your second ring done and then you fix one bead on each fish line again and then you cross with the third bead using both fish lines you pull it out and then you have your third ring done So you are going to continue weaving with the same method till you get 17 steps in all. So we have 16 now and then with the 17th part on this fish line, you fix 3 beads. You fix 3 beads on the left fish line and then with the other side of the fish line, you cross with the third bead. You make sure you have the end and then you pull it out. So you have the fish line turned for you to weave the other side of the bag. So you pull it out very tight and then on this fish line you fix three beads and then you cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line so you can turn completely to continue weaving. You pull it out, make sure it's tight, then with the right fish line you go through the next bead then you pick two beads, fix on the left fish line and then you cross with the second bead using the right fish line. You pull it out, then with the right fish line you go through the next bead. You still pick two beads, fix on the left fish line, cross with the second bead using the right fish line. You pull it out. Then you continue weaving till you get to the last but one bead. So when you get to the last but one bead, on this fish line, you fix two beads, and then you cross with the second bead using the other side of the fish line, pull it out. And this is what you should get if you're on the right track. So I'm going to weave two more steps in addition to it. So it will add up to four. So you should get four steps in all. So as you can see, we have four steps now. And then with um, this fish lines, you're going to pass them through to the last but one bead here. You pass them through to the last but one bead. So this is what you should get and then on this fish line, on this fish line, you fix three beads and then you cross with the third bead using the right fish line. Then you pull it out and then with the right fish line, you go through the next bead here and then you, you still fix two beads and then cross with the second bead 
then you pull it out so my fish line is short i'm going to pass them through then after with a new fish line you just go through the next two beads here you go through the next two beads and then you continue weaving you pull it out and then you continue weaving with the same method by fixing two beads on the left fish line cross with the second bead using the right fish line then you continue weaving with the same method till you get to the last but one bead So we are stopping at the last but one bead. So on this fish line, you fix two beads. And then with the same fish line, go through this bead. Then you pull it out. And then you pass both fish lines through to this last but one bead. And then we have it now. So with the same method, you are going to weave till you get to the last but one bead here. So this time I'm going to continue weaving, leaving out the last but one beads so you get to the last end. So you have it now, you should get one at the end. So I'm going to pass the fish line through. And then this is what you should get after you are done. As you can see, we have this vein shape, so we are going to weave around it. So with a new fish line, you go through this bead here. You fix the fish line, then you pull it out. Then on this fish line, you fix three beads. And then you cross with the third bead using the other side of the fish line. Make sure you have the ends, and then you pull it out so one side will be longer than the other. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next bead. Fix two beads on the left fish line, cross with the second bead using the right fish line, you pull it out. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next bead, fix two beads again on the left fish line, you pull it out, and then you continue weaving with the same method. So as you can see we have the sides forming, you are going to weave till you get to this end using the same method. And this is exactly what you should get if you are on the right track, we have the side nicely formed. So not to confuse you, you are going to weave two of this side as well, the end of the bag. So with this fish line, you go through this bead. Then you fix two beads on the left fish line, cross with the right fish line, you pull it out, then with the right fish line, go through the next bead. Then on this fish line, you fix two beads, and then you cross with the other side of the fish line, you pull it out. Then we have it done. So this is what I was talking of. We are going to repeat the same thing on the other side as well. So I'm going to do that off camera. And this is what you should get after you are done with it. So this is one side of the bag and I made the other side of camera the same size, the same length. And I'm going to join the sides together. So on this fish line, you fix one bead and then with that same fish line, you go through the first bead on the other side of the bag. Then you have the one bead in the middle, then you pick another bead. And then you cross with both sides of the fish line. You pull it out and make sure it's very tight. Then with the right fish line, you go through the next bead. With the left fish line, you go through the next bead. And then you pick one bead. And then you cross with both sides of the fish line again. With the right fish line, you go through the next bead. With the left fish line, you go through the next bead. And then you pick one bead. And then you cross with both sides of the fish line. And then you move on with the same method. So as you can see, we have the sides joining up nicely. So I'm going to um, move with the same method so you get to the 
last end of the other side. And this is what you should get after you are done. We have the sides nicely joined. Then we have the body of the bag nicely made. So you pass your SS fish line through to secure your work. And then after you are done, you have your bag neatly and nice looking. So you are going to weave a bit of handle for the bag, but you can do the cover first, as I said earlier. So with a new fish line, you go through this bead here, this bead, the middle bead here. You go through, then you pull out your fish line. Then you pick three beads, fix one on each fish line, fix one on the left fish line, fix one on the right fish line, and then you cross with the third bead using both sides of the fish line. You pull it out, and then you have your ring done. And then you still pick three beads, fix one on the left fish line, fix one on the right fish line, and then you cross with the third bead. And then you make sure you have the ends of the fish line you pull it out so one side of the fish line will be longer than the other and then you still pick three beads fix one on the left fish line fix one on the right fish line and then you cut with the third bead using both fish lines you pull it out and then you have your third ring so as you can see it's the same method as we started the whole bag with from the beginning so i'm going to continue weaving with the same method so you get 18 rings in all. So I have 17 now and then with the 18th part, you fix one bead on each fish line. And then I'm going to cross both fish lines through this bead here. So the left fish line will come out from the right side and the right fish line will come out from the left side. And then you pull it out please pull it out and make sure it's very firm so that's what i was talking of so you have it this way then i'm going to pass both fish lines through to this bead here so you have it now and then you pick three beads fix one on the left fish line fix one on the right fish line then you cross with the third bead using both fish lines so you weave on with the same method as you did with the other side so all we are doing is we are still um, weaving rings for the handle with the same method as we started with so you are going to weave until you get um 22 steps in all yeah so with this part we need 22 steps it should be longer than the first one you made so i have it now and this is 21 with the 22nd part you are going to fix one bead on each fish line and then with the same method as we did with the other side on this bead the left fish line should come out from the right side and then the right fish line should come out from the left side and then make sure you pull it for it to be very firm so we have it now and this is what you should get if on the right track so i'm going to pass the fish line through to this bead here to this second bead here so both fish lines should come out from this bead as you can see we have it now so you should have it this way then on this fish line on this fish line you fix one bead and then with that same fish line on the other side of the chains you made you go through the first bead here the first bead please watch carefully and follow the steps then you pull it out so you have it this way and then you pick one bead then you cross it both sides of the fish line you pull it out then with the right fish line you go through the next bead with the left fish line go through the next bead and then you pick one bead again and then you cross it both sides of the fish line you pull it out and make sure it's firm then with the right fish line go through the next bead with the left fish line go through the next bead and then you fix one bead and then you weave on to the ninth bead so 
so after you're done with the knife step you count it up on this side then you have nine that is the side you should count from so you get the accurate work so on this fish line you go through the next two beads so let me say the same step you go through the next two beads please watch carefully then you have it this way then you pick one bead and then you cross with both fish lines then with the right fish line you go through the next bead with the left fish line you go through the next bead fix one bead and then you cross it both sides of the fish line and then with the same method you are going to weave till you get to the end of the other side so this is what you should get after you are done then we are going to pass our excess fish line through to secure the work so you have it neatly and nicely made so with the same method you are going to weave for the other side as well and i'm going to do that off camera and we are done with our handle so with this method of the handle you have it nicely and firm but you can still pass more fish lines through to make it more firm because the handle carries the weight of the bag so i'm going to weave the cover for the bag and with the cover i'm going to do that off camera because i'm using the same method as we started with So I have it done, I have my cover nicely made and we are going to fold this side. So you count three and then you fold from that side, then you have it done. Now we are going to attach our magnetic lock flip or button. So I don't know how you call it at your place or in your country. So I have a video of how to attach it. I'm going to drop that below so you can watch and know how to fix it to your bag. So I have it done now, nicely attached. Then you still have to fold the cover back so you can attach your magnets and your things are secured in your bag. So we are going to make um, a holder for the side so we can fix our bag chains on that side. So we have it now, this is what I was talking of. So you can as well fix a metal in the beads where you hang your handles but I want it this way and I have my back chain so you can use any type of the back chain but make sure it's strong enough to carry the weight of the bag. So I have it attached to the sides of the bag and we are done with our handmade beaded bag. So you can use this for all occasions, you can make this in any color of your choice just to suit your outfit and it's also very cute and easy to handle please give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more and more of my tutorials make sure to comment and share as well stay safe see you in my next video have a nice day and bye